Hi guys, Gaming Bear here. Right, as you know I got the um, ME410 Hornies in the last episode, and I want to have a look at the, uh, the weaponry on this. Now, not in the normal sort of way. Now, you're thinking, oh, it's, it's just got 13mm cannons on the back. So you can see this setup on the side cupolas. But what I want to... and controlled from here. Very, very interesting. Now, what I want to do is uh, link to some footage of the weapons and have a look through at the other cannons and things pull up footage that I can find on the net to say about this uh, about this plane so bear with me this first bit is from the Institute of Military Technology in America and so the MG131 which is what this is so bear with me so all credit to uh, to those guys for putting this up bear with me Today we have uh, Ken Huddle as our guest today to talk to us about one of his MG-131s. It was a uh, German World War II uh, aircraft cannon, basically the same gun as our M2 50 cal, and it was a very small gun. As you can see, the, the overall length, it has a very short barrel. It's uh, recoil operated, and these shot down a lot of B-17 bombers. So there's very few of these, there's only probably five of them that's still in existence on the register for machine guns in the United States. Ken's going to kind of tell you how the gun works and how to take them apart and uh, the inside looks like. This is a 13 millimeter belt fed recoil operated invented uh, by a Louis Stanga that worked for Rheinmetall. It's a 13 millimeter where 50 caliber is a 12.7 millimeter. The projectiles are a little bit different in length. The 50 caliber projectile is probably a little heavier. And I notice it looks like a belted cartridge case right. too. Early on, most automatic belt fed guns used a belt because that was... Okay, let's move on and have a look at uh, other more interesting aspects. So I also see this has an electric primer too. So these were electric fired. Right. What voltage? 24 volt. I mean, that's probably the only way they could have made a 35 pound gun shooting this cartridge at 900 rounds a minute. So firing at 900 rounds a minute at 2,500 feet per second, uh, our gun would be firing 2,750 at about 550 rounds a minute. And it's about a 75 pound gun. So from a standpoint of a small compact package, this looks to be a pretty exciting piece of gear. Could we kind of take this apart? And we stripped except for the ejector and the accelerator. And what does the accelerator do? It's just like in a browning. It just, just like in a browning. It throws the bolt back with extra energy. So as the barrel and the bolt move together and come back, the accelerator takes and transfers the mass of the barrel moving to the rear and accelerates the bolt at a much faster velocity. had what were called rigid guns and then the flexible guns. The flexible gun is where there would be an individual in a cupola or a gondola or the nose of the plane physically pointing the gun at opposing aircraft and that's why he has a pistol grip and a charging handle. And then a cowling gun which is mounted on top of the engine or, or in this case on the side. So let's have a look at the, uh, at the cowlings here you can see them there with the uh, with the weapons so what we know we know is it's a, a, a pair of electrically fired mgs 50 cal caliber mgs so in effect well huge huge streams of bullets no wonder <clears throat> this is so strong from the uh, 
from the from any anyone coming in from behind and it was saying it was it was very good at taking down b-52s which is heavy bombers so any lighter planes even heavy fighters coming in behind this are gonna have a really really bad day with these with these coming through and this is with a basic rear gunner can you imagine with a better better rear gunner coming through now what I want to do is have a look at the uh, the 20 mil cannons see what I can find out about the uh, the other weapons on this so bear with me okay this is from uh, Jürgen Jürgen MG42 let's open this up and see basically the uh, the bigger guns the 151s on the front Absolutely badass. Now let's try and get some technical information on this. Right, this footage is from Spotty Dog 4477, but I believe he got it from somewhere else, but he hasn't given credit for it, so I don't know where the original footage came from. Otherwise I would I'll be credited. So let's have a look at this footage. Bear with me. It also carries two 20mm cannon in underwing gondolas. This allowed the G6 to direct heavy fire on the American bombers. Footage here shows the tremendous damage inflicted by the cannon shells. In the spring of 1943, Vogt Wolf produced an assault version of the 190A8 armed with two 30mm Mark 108 cannons and extra armour, this variant equipped... OK, so that's uh, moving away from the 20mm cannons. So let's move this away. So we see that the, uh, the, the, the exactly what, basically, it was used for uh, for taking out the, uh, the Liberators with these 20mm cannons, and you've got the 7.92s, which we already know, which are better at, uh, at slower fly... well, at faster fly, flying uh, fighters. But the 20 mils pr primarily for really heavy targets and you can see the footage it's really really good so you've got the defensive armament and the offensive armament on the front leading up to the 30 mil cannons so i'm going to carry on with the footage and show you so this is we've looked at the yeah, the 20 mils now let's look back and see what they say about the 30 mils which we haven't got in place yet so bear with me a second the Sturmstaffen or Ramjager units. A specialized bomber destroyer, it was given cover by other fighters during its attack on the Polk. Major Heinz Baer examines a B-17 down by him in the combat of February the 22nd. We previously saw him in Tunisia. By February 1944, Baer was one of Germany's foremost expert and having served in the East and in the West. By war's end, his score would stand at 221 victories, including Miss Quachita, a B-17F from the 91st Bomb Group at Bassingbourne. She's seen here on the hard stand with her ground crew shortly before being lost over Germany. In the summer of 1944, the new Dora, an an FW-190 powered by a Yumo inline engine, entered Luftwaffe service. With a maximum speed of 440 miles an hour, it at last gave the Jagdflieger a plane to compete with the Mustang. It was, however, never available in numbers to make a real difference to the air war over Germany. Right, so let's get back. <clears throat> so that's looking at the, the fighter side of things. And I'm, I will do reviews of the fighters, <clears throat> looking at old footage. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And then, so back to, uh, back to this. Very, very useful amount of firepower sadly i haven't managed to find any footage on the uh, the wgr 21s but i will keep looking and uh, trying to get this sorted for you but for now let's get those rockets on board and do a uh, a game with with this on for to start so uh, bear with me so twin rockets on either side so without further ado, I think it's about time to uh, to get into a battle. We haven't got the top engine yet, but I want to show this hard uh, the uh, exactly what it's like with these rockets as well. So 
Bear with me. Okay, let's see. So what map have we got? Ah, let's have a look. Plateau. Sounds good. So we're starting off spawn point on the right, on the uh, the east. Garrison up above. Let's see which side we're on. So, uh, so we know exactly where we're going to be going. I'm really excited on trying out these rockets as well. We lose, uh, I believe, uh, five or six KMH at the top end. Attention. You are entering the combat zone. Get ready for battle. Good luck. Okay, thank you. Let's have a look. Does look like a really nice plane. Very, very neat. So we're on the uh, the right hand side. So we're gonna head for the uh, the northern area. Assist the team in uh, taking it down. So yeah, let's uh, give us a run for his money. I do like that view. Very, very nice. Show me what you can do, pilot. Time to go. Let's roll. Let's get in. So, a bit of ground attack. Use those rockets. Uh -huh. Let's go for these guys first. So now we know exactly what they were designed for. Oh, look, look at the, the amount of damage we're doing to these coming up behind us. Let's do a bit of uh, booming in it's coming come in on him he's gone already okay we'll test out these uh, these rockets oops okay that was my that was my own fault I was trying to get uh... <laughs> the rockets seem to work really well I didn't get to see them and the explosions but it looked like they hit a couple of targets so that was that was my but we did 900 points that that was my own fault and we've captured the uh, the area already so um, yeah, between us helping take out the fighters and destroying the uh, the air tar the ground targets with the, with the rockets, it worked well. But my control let let us down. I'm sorry, guys. These things happen. So uh, let's let's push into the. Well, we've got guys going this way. So let's get a boost up high. Get up to about two two and a half thousand meters. Actually, we're uh, we they're halfway to catching the centre. Let's get in, let's get up high, see what I can do. And let's get a couple of rockets in. Oh, right, so they've got a timed, time delayed fuse, so it's a distance, it, they don't just keep going to target. That's a bit of a bugger. But very interesting to know. So uh, we now know what we can or can't do. You, my little friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very good at chewing through planes. Let's spin round, they can be coming in behind. So let's boost up, move towards these guys. Let's repair my pilot. Bit of firepower going going back, let's try and get both guns, there we go. Let's go in low, try and get a bit of uh, assistance, there, there we go, the second engine's coming back online. Okay, lead them over our anti-air zone, get my uh, health back up a bit. Let's try and get a bit of height. So, not bad, you know, we're a solid plane, very solid plane, took down a couple of them, we'll see exactly where we are, where are we, are we top on damage for our team? You know, you, can, you, can't do, you can't do that in a bad plane. You really can't. <clears throat> so. The enemy is launching rocket strikes on our complex. Try to neutralize the enemy military base. Let's go in on the BF. Cool, help the team with that. Yeah, 
who says who says you can't dogfight in these? I'm sorry, I'm gaming bear. <laughs> yeah, like that's gonna put me off. Hello, little yak. Oh no, oh, someone killed him too quick. Shucks. So let's go in after the LA5. Yeah. Grade 5 heavy fighter. Let's just say this is a really, really nice plane. Someone going in low and over there. Right, let's go and help in the centre. Our guys really aren't doing a good job at the moment. Okay, I'll try and get a little bit more height, ready to dive in. Come on, guys. Well, at least our team is picking up. The A26 is the one to watch out for. And I've got someone down there. IL-2. Let's see what this is like against an IL-2. Before he does too much damage to our... Uh, look at his rockets going in. Ouch, that's going to leave a mark. Okay. IL-2. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Alright, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Oh, look, everything is being captured. Come on, boys, do some damage. Play nice. Do I have to do everything myself? Uh, apparently, yes. So, um, let's see what we can do. build up some boost get in see what we can do so yeah it's it's a really nice plane you know i'm 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 liking this let's go in on that boomerang We've got someone coming firing on me hang in there you'll soon be cut off oh, no, it's a bit of a say again support will not be available are captured by the enemy. You must turn the tide of the battle. All on my own. We're losing the battle. Oh. You got what you could. Go back to base. <laughs> A26. He's he's he was the best player in the opposing team. He just said hi, hi YouTube. So, 6,600 points. Anything over 2,000 points per sortie is good. So, we did about 2,200. So, very, very nice. Let's go and see exactly how we did in comparison to the opposing team. And and see, try and analyse what this is like. The rockets are good. You have, They haven't got the long-range punch. The guns themselves are very, very good. The rear guns are fantastic. The front, the forward guns are very, very good. 33,000 uh, credits. What's not to like? Let's have a look at the overall situation. So that's 6,600. Top on our team. And uh, Raptor, who uh, who just said hi to YouTube, uh, did 9,000. A26B. Very, very nicely done by him. Very, very good for his team and helped them to win. Very, very nice. So, the plane itself, you know what the uh, the guns are like. We know that the, the rockets didn't really use... Well, on, on those grand targets, they appeared to work very neatly. And as a self-defense thing against uh, heavier fighters coming in from the front, you could try and rocket them in, in the face. But the forward-firing guns are really, really good anyway. So this is a, the basic setup. All we've got, as you can see, um, with the upgrades, we haven't even got the top engine yet. I, I like the 20 mil cannons; they're very versatile. I don't even know whether I, I need to uh, to switch to the 30 mils. Yes, it does more DPS, lower rate of fire, and effective fire range actually reduces. So I'm thinking that um, I I like the range of the 20 mil cannons. 30 mils more damage but a closer range. I know that sounds a bit counterproductive. I, I like having the additional range. This works really, really well. 
what would I put on? Well, it feels good enough anyway. Equipment wise, I would say maybe let's go for improved reflector sight to start off. Give us that little bit extra damage with the front gun so you can take down opponents just that little bit quicker. Then let's have a look. Improved coverings. Uh, improved airspeed. I would say, well, you can actually can actually dogfight in this. I know it sounds a bit weird. So I'm I'm gonna put in improved flaps to give that little bit of additional turning, which works really well. Improve coverings, less chance of criticals, and additional hit points. And I've got it in the... Uh, I've got a couple of them already. So, let's see what this is like. I know it's going to be a longer video, but I want to test this out with this new uh, new configuration. So let's, let's get in. My voice is going. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, let's have a look. So, the archipelago... Nice bit of range work, so we'll see what we can do with this. And we're in the uh, the east. Yep, that's looking good, so let's see. You are approaching the area of combat operations. Be ready. Okay. I thank you. Let's go in and have a look. It does look good, so we know where we are. Let's double check the situation. We're on the... Uh, the southern side of the group so we'll head down towards the airstrip <clears throat> aid the team get down well get up get high and uh, take it to the enemy there Pilots, we go get ready for action let's go let's boost up to about 2,000 meters nice nice ability to climb even without the uh, top engine so uh, yeah that very nice I'll start. I'll slow the boost when we get to about 1,900 meters. Okay, there we go. And then we can start building up the boost again. There we go. Operating height, very nice. And we're still accelerating up. Oh yeah. little bit slower build up to targets let's go for some groundwork force them to come down to me take out some of these ground installations rocket into there the airfield is ours utilize this advantage cool that was just enough to give us the edge at that point. <clears throat> very, very nice. So let's get in, get ready to do some more damage. Boost up a little bit. <clears throat> get up to about 600 metres. Come in lower. Take on the targets. Get in as quick as we can. Prevent the enemy from uh, capturing it, or at least do a lot of damage to the enemy. Oh, great. Our guys have just gone straight for the middle. Okay, we'll see what we can do. Try and get in before they capture it all. fighter you know just how tough those guys are yeah he's having a really bad day so let's go for the anti-air just keep pushing through rocket rocket fire let's wait for the yeah uh, the those to redo so we prevented them from capturing this zone. And let's just go in and take that on the way through. So we've sec helped secure this for our team. Bit of damage on that. 
and now guys still have I've done this on my own and and the whole of our team still haven't captured the uh, the central area sometimes you've got to do things on your own take out the AA on the back of that let's work our way through up 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 and you sunshine there's someone else up ahead let's deal with him first oh yeah very very nice so now let's let's go and help them secure the center you know, you got to do what you can do. So, uh, well, I, I did have a wingman. Finally, someone came and joined me. So, um, let's take out the AA down here. Sort that out first. Oh, I, I thought I'd rockets. Let, I thought the rockets would be in by then. Gonna have a really bad day. This is amazing at chewing through ILs. Normally, what's it like up against mosquitoes? Pretty good, pretty darn good. And we've secured this area now as well. Turn at my rear gun, actually, let's just go for him. You know. I really can't fault this. Incredibly competent plane. IL Hunter Extraordinaire. Oh yeah. Receiving reports about rapidly deteriorating weather conditions. The port will be unable to reach you. Do you read me? Over. Very, very impressive. So let's boost up, let's go after him. Oh, I've stalled a bit. Let's, uh. Got someone coming in, let's get it here, IL2. Okay. Let's say hello, my little friend. This is fantastic at chewing up ILs. Oh, oh, and a, a, a mosquito cat. You know, when on my own, I could take him. But the mosquito we'd already taken down, the mosquito pilot came for revenge. You know, it, it takes more than one of them to take me down. And let's see how we how we how we did. Eight thousand points, Great job today. and we win. We'll be waiting for you. Back <laughs> yeah, home. and a whole string of uh, achievements. So let's go back. What's this really like? Even without the top engine, those rockets make a difference. The plane is fantastic. It's really, really strong. How much did we make? So bear with me a second. Come on, you know you want to. Come on. It's being a bit slow. Okay, let's see. How many points? So 64,000 credits. 
3,000 experience, number of awards, top on the tip. So 9,000 points, top out of everybody, including the Mosquito. Yeah, yeah, really, really impressed. Overall summary and personal score. So aerial, sectors captured. Very, very neat. Very, very nice combination plane. Useful at so many different things. Great guns. Good maneuverability. Very, very useful. So, the ME410. Again. And really this was to show you about the guns, but I thought, well, let's give it a go. And, you know, it's even better than that first game. So, thank you for watching, guys, and see you all soon. Bye!